Okay, hope that I got it. <coughs> Okay, now I want to try to test it. Insert the battery. Okay, the light blinket, I think. Yep. The light blinket, but the, the tool is not starting. Okay, but the light start blink, so... Now we know that we have more than one problem with this one. And, yep. The light turns on. And then nothing happens, so we need to check what can be more wrong with this one. And now we have only the one way to check everything is um, basically is to measure the voltage going to the motor if we have some voltage okay it's a DC so I will try to hold it somehow have nothing here and have nothing here we can suspect that we have the short circuit or something on the controller so okay I think I need to get this controller <coughs> And I will take the switch out, probably. Go check again for the... Maybe the motor was, will be working when I will move it. Had it one time, okay, now. So we can check. I will try to disconnect that. LED light, still nothing happens. So definitely I need to get the controller. Got a spring out, we can check for the switch contacts here, they look good. This one looks not bad. Of course I can clean them. It's almost no dirt here. Okay. And where you have been? Have I disconnected it? Or it was disconnected? So for LED lights, so yeah, I think 
I have just disconnected it. Okay, now we need to find a way to take the coating, and I think the MOSFETs will be here. Now that silicone coating, sometimes it's hard to take it out. Yes, I have tried to solder the fuses and it's still not working. I will go with the most simple repair. I will just <laughs> change with a new controller. I have the used controller, used working controller, so it's cheaper. So just it. <coughs> Sorry, my voice I'm getting gone a little bit. Okay, so just installing everything in the places. Making sure that the wires are in the housing gap. This is the part I commonly broke when I disassembled this tool, so I have ordered spare them and I have placed them for sale on eBay just in case you need it. Everything seems to be in places, so I can tighten the housing. Getting very good. But everything looks normal here. Stuck somewhere. And I think normally these wires are flattened, not bonded around. Seems to be good. Okay, we'll try to tighten it and check how it works.
scheme have assembled it, so now we can try to test it, right? of course always check the fuses here it's a two fuse here and of course we have the MOSFETs here but it's complicated to get to them and basically if the fuse is not helping it's easier to replace all the units for now thank you for watching bye <laughs>